Hey everybody, thank you all for tuning in. My name is Sam, I am the superhero. I am a psychic medium, and that's what makes me a superhero. So go ahead and like the video and hit that subscribe button because we love superheroes over here. I am a no tools reader, and my gift that stands out the most is my clairvoyance. So today I will be doing clairvoyant channel readings regarding, will you have a summer fling? And now for pile number one, the timestamps are down below. Hi, pal number one. This is Will You Have a Summer Fling? So the first energy that I got when tuning into your pal is the answer is yes. You will have a summer fling this year. And I feel that it will be through a hookup. This hookup could uh, come from somebody online, like an acquaintance that you know online is gonna hook you up with this person. Or you could even meet an acquaintance online in person and they introduce you to the person, okay? Your acquaintance may be with that person at the time, but that's the gist of how this is going to go down, okay? And I'm also picking up that this guy is a well-endowed type of brother. And he has this quiet confidence about him. Like he secretly knows that he has it going on. I'm hearing that he's tall, like 6'4 or so. Um, and if this is a guy listening in and you prefer to date ladies, okay, I'm also getting that she's tall, like 5'9 to 5'11 or so, okay? He's also going to be, um, on the slimmer side. If we're talking about a guy again, he's going to be on the slimmer side and his hands are big. I see long fingers and I'm also hearing he has a tight grip, um, and I'm hearing that he does have money as well, but he might not have a job. So we could be talking about somebody who doesn't make legal money, if you know what I mean. Or on the other hand, we could be talking about somebody that is a trust fund baby. So the money is not an issue. You'll know for sure which side of the fence he's on when you get to know him. Uh, but I'm also seeing a collection of books. So he may be an avid reader. But I'm also um, hearing something about comics. So that could be something that he's really into as well. I'm also getting that he likes steak. So you may be in for a real carnivore. And basketball is not his thing. Some people think just because a guy is tall, oh, he's probably into sports. I mean, basketball, you know, all that. Basketball is not his thing. Um, he's going to be more of a football guy. But I'm also getting that he's um, he's not heavy on sports at all. You know, but if he does watch sports, more than likely it will be football, not basketball. Uh, I'm seeing jewelry. So don't be surprised if when he takes you out, he has on a necklace or two with a ring on his finger. And I'm hearing that he likes expensive jewelry, okay? I'm also getting that he may have, uh, he may have been a jewelry appraiser at one point. So don't bother to wear your fake jewels with the ladies because he will know. Um... So there will be good chemistry here. And you guys will like spending time together. I'm seeing you guys going out to eat at places like Applebee's, Sizzlers, or the Outback Steakhouse. Um, like they are, they're not high pressure type of dates, okay? I'm also seeing the movies, but I, I really get that he's, um, he's into movies, but not like the movie theater type of movies, okay? But I'm also picking up on like a Netflix and chill type of vibe. So that's that's more of his thing. Um, so the more comfortable that you guys get with each other, he's going to want to cook at home and have a Netflix and chill type of date. But I am hearing miniature golf as well. So that's something that he could very well be into. So I do see intimacy happening here. And I see that it's going to be good. Like the stuff that you've been wanting or craving, he's going to do that, okay? But I have to be honest, um, I'm having a vision about him not being able to last too long. So it's probably going to be best for you to get yours first, okay? <laughs> but when he is able to perform, um, it's going to be all good, okay? So that's what I'm seeing for your summertime fling, my pal number one. I thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next pick a pal. Hi, pal number two. This is Will You Have a Summertime Fling. So the first energy that I got when tuning into your pal is the answer is no, but a long-term relationship is coming. 
okay? I feel like this pile is still in their season of healing. And a lot of you have just gotten out of a relationship or a lot of you have yet to completely heal from your past relationship, okay? But the next season that you're moving into uh, when it comes to dating is not a fling. It is more so of a serious long-term relationship yet again. So maybe you've already been working on yourself for a long time now. And a big part of your weight is that um, is the fact that your next bay is still working on themselves too. It's kind of like if you want something quick, you can get that, but it may not last long. And it may not be worth the fuss after all. But if you want something real, um, sometimes it's going to take more patience and having the faith that you're going to get exactly what you want. Because you do know that you can get what you want, right? Yeah, you absolutely can. The thing about getting what you want is it may not come when you want it to. Because there is a preparation okay, process that must take place. And you have to be in alignment with whatever it is that you desire. If you want a man who checks the marks off your list, you're going to have to be the woman that checks the marks off of his list as well, because this is about true connection and love. So nobody wants to be shortchanged, right? You can't come broken expecting somebody whole, because that's not a match. And there is nothing that two broken people can do except create destruction. Because um, that's all that they know, right? So each person has to work on themselves in preparation of their prayers manifesting, okay? Uh, but I do see a long-term relationship headed your way. And I'm being told that it's not too far off from now. I just had a vision of a woman in a wedding dress. So for some of you, that next long-term relationship that you will have will be with your husband. And you guys will be together for a very long time because I just heard decades. So this person is definitely worth waiting for. And I just heard that he's going to change your life and it will be a good thing. So that's what I'm seeing for your summertime fling, my pal number two. I thank you all so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next pick a pal. Hi, pal number three. This is, will you have a summertime fling? So the first energy that I got when tuning into your pal is the answer is maybe. If you're considering moving, do it because that's where your fling will be. So some of you have been going back and forth with the idea of moving. And every time you get ready to make the move, I feel like something is happening to hold you back. But I'm also feeling like the biggest uh, thing that's holding you back is yourself because a part of you feels that you're really not ready to do so and this could be uh, finance related okay if you know that you are not financially in a good place to move then I encourage you to please use your intuition and sit tight because there is no point in putting yourself in a worse situation just because you got ants in your pants but that's just for some of you, okay? Uh, so I'm, uh, I'm seeing a summer fling is possible for you, though. And this fling is likely to take off uh, if you do decide to move. However, you could also be talking about talking to... Uh, we could also be talking about you talking to somebody from another city or state, okay? So there may be some long distance dating involved. I get the feeling that a lot of you in this pal has already done that in the past and you've decided that it's not really your thing. But for those of you who are open to it, this will be on the table for you this summer, okay? I'm also seeing a foreign love interest. So a lot of you could find yourselves being on the brink of an interracial relationship. I'm also getting that English may not be their first language, and I'm hearing an accent, okay? This guy is going to be charming, and he has thick, dark eyebrows. That's for some of you, okay? I'm also getting that he carries a conversation very well, but he's not going to be familiar with slang terms. So if you get too comfortable and you start speaking to him like that, you might lose him in that conversation because he'll truly have no idea what you're talking about. Um, but he won't want to tell you that. So pay attention to his eyes because I feel like they'll reveal the truth. You know how you're talking to somebody and they start to look spacey? Yeah, that's because they don't 
either they're not agreeing with what you're saying or they probably don't know what the hell you're saying. So just pay attention to the eyes. I feel like they will reveal the truth that he's a bit lost, okay? I also get that um, he'll be too embarrassed to tell you if he doesn't understand what you're saying, okay? So he's also the type to send you flowers and he will want to full-on court you even from a distance. He's really good at making himself a part of your life using all forms of communication. So that's via telephone calls, chat, text, video calls, or even by catching you online on your favorite social media site. Like he has no problem jumping in your inbox to let you know that he's thinking about you or that he misses you, okay? I'm also getting that he texts back really fast. Now, in terms of traveling, he will come to you, but it has to be well planned out because he does have a job and his life is pretty scheduled. I'm also getting that you will like him and you'll think that he's worth taking a chance on. And guess what? You're going to be right about that. So that's what I'm seeing for your summertime fling, my pal number three. I thank you all so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next pick a pal. Hi, pal number four. This is will you have a summertime fling? So the first energy uh, that I got when tuning into your pal is the answer is no. But I do see more of a hookup. So this is not to say that you won't have anybody, okay? I just get more of the energy of a one-night stand or you falling back into the trap of messing with somebody from your past. Perhaps a lot of people in this pile are not over their ex, so they don't really allow themselves to move on, okay? But I'm also seeing a nightclub. So some of you in this pile could meet somebody at a nightclub, a bar, or lounge type of environment, and you can find yourself engaged in a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am type of situation. Um, and I know that for a lot of you, you don't get down like that, okay? But what I'm also seeing is some of you will be going, um, you will be going on dates with people that won't lead to second dates. So you have to be careful and make sure that you're being honest about who you are or what you got or maybe even your accomplishments because it's definitely not all of you, but some people in this pile are a bit guilty of ad-libbing, if you will. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the thing is, ladies and gentlemen, a person has to like you for you, okay? Not because of what you can give them or what uh, you can do for them. But if you're going to lead with that, then don't be surprised or mad when the other person expects you to show them. Because if you're a guy and you're bragging about how much money you got and uh, how money is not an issue in your life, then don't take a lady to eat a giant burger and act like you don't understand why her face is scrunched up. Okay, her face is scrunched up because she expects more from you um, because you led with that. Okay, and if you're a woman and you've told this man all about your sexual abilities um, and then he takes you out on a nice date, he's going to want you to back up what that mouth said, ladies. He wants to see all the tricks and turns in real life. Now, of course, you damn sure don't have to do anything that you don't want to do. And that's a fact. But let's not play naive either. OK, of course, he's likely of course, he likely wants to see what's up for dessert. <clears throat> so these examples were just to paint the picture. Please don't take them personally. But you guys get the gist of what I'm saying, right? Don't lead with something that you're not advertising to give out, okay? Um, but let me also say this. I see this pile is attractive. It's full of attractive people. So people are checking for you and you are turning heads. It looks like you're exchanging numbers with new people in this pile. Um, but there is a heavy emphasis on sex in this pile as well. So you could experience a lot of people trying to bed you, okay? And if that's what, you're, what, what you've been looking for, then you're going to have a very good summer, okay? I do want to caution you to make sure that you're using protection now because a lot of the uh, people that will be hitting you up, they're also hitting up a lot of other people as well. And you don't know if they're being safe each and every time, right? Okay, so for the rest of you who are not feeling the sexual energy 
or the one night stand type of situation, don't worry because summertime is only what two to three months long and the energy will change. I guarantee you that. So that's what I'm seeing for your summertime fling, my pal number four. I thank you all so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next pick a pal. Okay, guys, that's all that I have for you for today. I hope that you all have enjoyed it. Please don't forget to share this video. Share it with your family. Share it with your friends. Share it with your co-workers and your sneaky links. And share it with the bees bzz, 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 <laughs> because you know they love to gossip. My contact information is in the description box down below. And until next time, remember, anybody can be a superhero, even you.